Hello everyone and welcome to Angel Healing House. My name is Claire Candy Hoff and in today's video the Posse of Angels, my angelic family and I would like to speak about a topic which we've entitled Become Your Own Good Luck Charm. You know viewers why is it that there are some people out there that seem to get all of the luck with very little effort on their part, things just seem to fall magically into their laps, as if there's a magic wand continually waving above their heads. Now, let's take a look at, at an example of two people who long to have a wonderful job. The first person is worried and they're stressed out about finding a job, and they are constantly looking at the employment ads online. While plowing through the ads, she receives a last-minute random invitation to attend a party. Although her first impression is that it would be fun and she gets shivers and goosebumps, and that she really does need time to play, she declines the invitation as she needs to stay at home and look for a job on the internet. Now, the second person also has planned to spend the evening looking on the internet for a job. But deep down, this person knows that her prayers will be answered in God's way, not in her way. So when she receives that last minute random invitation to attend the same party as the first person, she gets the same excited feeling to go. But the difference is she honors her urge to take inspired action and she graciously accepts. Within minutes of this person's being at that party, someone bumps into her and spills a drink on her blouse. Turning around, the host apologizes to the girl and she offers her a change of shirt to wear. While she's changing, they strike up a conversation, they swap business cards, and there is an immediate connection between the two of them as if they've known each other forever. Over the following month, the host of the party calls her and says that their organization is looking for someone to head up a very new division and thinks that she would be a perfect candidate and asks if she'd be interested. And what does our first person, the other girl, our online job navigator, have to show for a night spent exploring uncharted employment sites until the wee hours of the morning? She has red, irritated, puffy eyes from being glued to the internet. She has an acid stomach from several late-night cups of coffee and a sore stomach as a result of several empty snack bags to show for her night of job searching. Okay, while this example might seem to be a bit far-fetched, the Posse of Angels is reminding us that this is exactly how life works. For life was never meant to move in straight lines, straight, logical lines. When we get out of our own way, when we let go, and when we surrender our expectations as to how we think things should happen, luck then has an open opportunity to be welcomed in and come and sit by our side. Now, when we look at these two individuals, the Posse of Angels is telling us that while there is no right and there's no wrong, there is definitely either positive energy or negative energy attached to everything. Every time we logically and rationally go about making things happen by doing something, we will limit the extraordinary limitless possibilities that the universe can orchestrate to fulfill our heartfelt desires. By denying her intuition that told her that the party would be fun, our person number one discounted her need for rest, for play and diversion, and she chose to put her time to better use by looking for a job on the internet. And while this could have yielded some possible results, her energy was one of lack, as she already established her denial of having fun. Now, the second person understood that she is co-creating her reality with every word, every thought, and every feeling that she has. And if she fills her life with positive, 
optimistic feelings and only makes choices that are fun. She's creating a positive energetic foundation for more things of the same positive frequency to enter into her reality. Being a positive beacon of energy, she will then draw connections and opportunities to positively fulfill her heartfelt desires and intentions, like meeting the host and receiving an invitation for a job. In the world of quantum physics, Nobel Prize winning physicists have proven beyond any doubt that the physical world is one large sea of energy that sparks and it flashes continuously. In fact, their findings show that absolutely nothing is solid. And in this ever-changing quantum field, they have proven that thoughts are what puts and holds together this ever-changing energy field into the objects that we see. And the greatest determinant as to what we see is our thoughts, as they are linked to this invisible energy. And it's our thoughts that determine what the energy forms. Our thoughts literally shift the universe as to how each of us creates our physical reality. Now, to help us grasp this truth a little better, everything we see in our physical world started out as a thought, as an idea, an idea that grew as it was shared and expressed until it grew enough into a physical object through a number of different steps. Therefore, each one of us literally becomes what we think about, and our life becomes what we've imagined and believed in most. Our reality is literally our mirror, enabling us to experience in the physical what we hold as our truth. And if we've created a reality, well, that we're not particularly fond of, we can choose to change it no matter what our outer circumstances show us. With our world being a very fluid place, it is continuously being built by using our individual and collective thoughts. You and I are pure energy light, and we are constantly changing beneath the surface as that is the nature of energy that it's always moving. But the way you direct and control it is all with your intentions and your powerful attention for what you focus on will manifest. If we focus on not having enough, then we will not have enough. If we focus on the abundant feelings of always having what we desire, then we will have just such abundance. The Posse of Angels is reminding us that we have each created a compromised reality at some stage in our physical life, but the ones who have turned their reality from lack and or dishonor to a world of abundance and honor that is filled with blessings and joy, they, they have learned how to become alchemists as they consciously choose to change their reality through their thoughts. They are also reminding us that if we are experiencing, experiencing seeing the world in any form of a compromised state, it's because our focus has been on that which we did not want to manifest. They are saying, forgive yourself, and of course, not to give that too much energy. Instead, they're saying to turn our attentions to imagining, feeling, and visualizing our lives as we would desire them to be. And then slowly, these focused, powerful energies will start to work with the universe's energy to bring us the circumstances to begin to form that desired reality for ourselves. Now, the Posse of Angels is reminding us that whether we choose to use a four-leaf clover, a horseshoe, a lucky rabbit's foot, maybe we rely on the luck of the Irish, or if we choose to use nothing at all, the most important key to make ourselves high-voltage energy good luck charms is to allow ourselves to know just how truly powerful 
we really are by acknowledging and seeing ourselves as powerful beings, we will begin to see the universe differently. It is in this change of a, of a perspective that changes the energies inside of us from feeling unlucky to having faith and trusting and knowing that we have the power within to create our own luck. And if you would like some help in changing the energies inside of you in order to change your reality. I'd love to help you. You can contact me, Claire Candy Hoff, at Angel Healing House, and that number is 831 277 3716, or you can email me at candy, C A N D Y, at angelhealinghouse.com. To find out more about Angel Healing House and myself, you can go to my Angel Healing House website and you'll see there my books, like my newly released I Am an Angelic Walk-In, my autobiography, and also my services. So until next video, I so look forward to, uh, to speaking with you again and go out and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. Take care. Bye.